thought we were going to talk about prisons. He was excited for that. Let's do it. Well, because I mean, I don't know anything about it. All right, come on. All right. You've right. been reading that pamphlet for like 20 minutes. Hey, so nah, they were talking yeah, about really sports. Talking. And I was about to love this bowl, so I'm not ready, but oh, you could that? talk about it first. What episode is this? Well, this, you wanted to 63? do... 63? 63? 63? Bro, we're on 66, but I thought you wanted oh, to do High yeah. Historian. Oh, episode right. 3, or no. I was like, <laughs> we gotta establish what episode is this? The pyramids. And no, what number, fool? Well, it depends. Well, yeah, because if it's historians, then it's number one. Man, we're gonna then it's three. Yeah, we gotta redo the intro. <laughs> nah, yeah, right, nah, you know, last good. time I just I stopped it and then I just and I ended up keeping so, it anyway. Hey, okay, raise your hand, odd pod or not? Is it an odd pod? I raised my hand I'm, for an odd pod. Because we're all four here. Well, okay. not, the high historian is just a high historian. Oh. No, no, th that was a high historian group one. This is the group high historian. Right. High historian. Oh. It's odd pod, y'all. Oh. Episode 16. Man, let's redo that first. <laughs> <laughs> so, you want to do it? You don't mind that season? That idea? Let the people live into the thinking process behind the scenes. I know. I appreciate the listeners, man. We got 17 views on YouTube. This week, man. Yeah, that's a good one. 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 Oh my god, my man. I'm trying to love We're looking bro, at drawings bro. of uh, the oh pyramid, <laughs> the pyramid outlay, the outlay, the blueprint. Of whatever. Orion's belt. Shout out to Men in Black. Remember that first Men in Black with the cat? Yeah. yeah. It had Orion's belt. I remember the pug. In the yeah, the pug and the little alien that was controlling the people and shit. Shout out to reptilians. Orion's belt. So, Orion's belt, like, well, it doesn't line up with these. These line up with Orion's belt. The three great pyramids of Egypt. And the three great pyramids of Teotihuacan. Teotihuacan? There you go. I Whatever saying, you I was, said. Yeah. Right? And that's kind of interesting, right? So do you know why that is? Like, because you, one of the topics you said was pyramids. Like, how do you think that they got there? Do you think it had to be like some kind of like secret? You think they were built by men? Were you like built by, 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 by legit? Or giants? Or was it like uh, technology? Because I saw a video that showed like sound was so powerful that it could lift stones and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool, right? So they could have had technology that vibrations mm -hmm. and things. And they All right, we, right now, there's there's certain videos out there now that'll show um, the, the ancient, their quote unquote ancient ways on how they were able to make these science stones or how they've been able to cut a, a stone so perfect that laser perfect not laser perfect but enough to where they cut into these giant stones and still get this representation of it but it still leaves a lot more questions than answers so i think it's a lot more advanced technology than anything that else. we've lost since it probably either lost in time or lost on purpose to where to dumb down the entire populace but who would do that to the, the hand the black hand well yeah but i describe the black hand yeah that, um, it's because it's you find these pyramids everywhere. You find these in like basically in every continent in, in the, the Middle world. East, you find South them America, in, in yeah, China, yeah, all seven continents. Yeah, yeah, all seven continents. Every continent. Even Australia. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I was just I just looked like some of the main ones. Like, I guess some of the biggest ones, or some of the ones that there's not one article, so I didn't get all of them. But what you think Jacob you think they were built by men you think they were built by aliens built by giants built by cat really? people dinosaurs people really? I don't I'm just kidding I don't know I want to say aliens cause yes uh, like alien, alien like okay good aliens or bad aliens let's start there I think aliens that were uh, maybe getting tired of how slow we were progressing as ah. a civilization ah. so they wanted to help us but not help us I think that's why we don't really ever make any like Pro true progress yeah or contact was uh why the other life because they're maybe staying away letting us play it out see how we do it on our own do it on, on our, our own, own without their help without any influence uh, or anything do you think they ever intend to throw us in another bone oh <laughs> my god <laughs> is it that long already yeah 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 oh, okay. no, 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 it's not broken. oh my god Nah, but no, but I mean, yeah. I don't know. I mean, you know, I, don't, I mean, they have a theory, you know, thought on that. Like, well, so what are they? What's the part? Like, you think it's a beacon? You think it's so that they can, whenever they, it's like whoa, a portal? Whoa, whoa, you just advanced this question to like level well, two. Well, see, because like, I don't want to get us on on a topic about talking about aliens. 
because uh, well, you know. Well, no, see, that was a that was enough, but I, but legit, did you 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 you, you what think? Do I think they were I mean, you you can stop there. That you think it was aliens to help us out, maybe? Yeah, I, I do. Now, I what so. what do you think they were for? Like he said, a beacon, uh, something to measure shit with, something to point out stuff in the sky. What you think? I don't know. I I think it was just more of uh, showing us how to do things. I feel you. Uh, so we could learn how to maybe. Uh, do it oh, other no. places or grow a civilization doing other things okay uh, but i don't know so well, some, for some that. reason what about oh, what about you well for some reason like not all of i don't know if all of them align to certain stars well, they might well it like, might be a map i feel like if uh if like but if these do yeah why not all of them if if the if three in egypt and then the three great pyramids in egypt and the three great pyramids in mexico uh, what are the three great pyramids in Mexico? Can you tell me the names uh, of them? Uh, the sun? The, the one of, them, of the sun? What, yeah, I just wrote down the Is pyramid that of the moon. No, pi pyramida. Pyramida? Moon, the sun, and then Quetzalcoatl. Okay, okay, okay. So what do you think, Chris? Do you, who do you think built Well, now pyramids? I'm thinking it might just be a map. No, no, who built them? First of all, let me uh, start, start the same question as you. Probably some kind of lost technology that either we got... Shit, maybe we even got that tech... The technology, I don't know, because it's, it's so much time in between also certain pyramids. Because there's some pyramids that were built by the Sumerians, you know what I'm saying? So, just the idea of a pyramid, because there's also, a, a, like, I decided to look at, like, well, sacred geometry, like, what's the spiritual purpose of a pyramid? Right? What did you say? Did you find that? Uh, what I found was that one of the functions of a pyramid is, supposedly, this is a theory, is a stargate. Good God! A multiverse vortex. I think we are going ahead of the people right now. You think so? We haven't even did we talk about Stargate yet? Cause we have, we, we have. I, don't, I mean, I mean, some of the Stargate is like the portal to, like you know, shout out to Thor. Yeah. Like, like the, yeah. the, the rainbow to, to other galaxies and yeah, stuff. To other dimensions, yeah. the realms, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Hey, hang on. I have my own theory on that. You go. Go ahead. No, finish. You still haven't answered the other questions, yeah. but keep going though. Pyramid as a portal allows people to reconnect with the source unity consciousness field. Sweet. Yeah. So, uh, energy of a pyramid reacts to, oper to the operator's thoughts and intentions. Oh. It's acting like a huge amplifier for manifestation, uh, manifesting reality, whatever or whatever it is healing. Whoa. There's typos in whoever was right. Whoa. Uh, it's good for communication or interdimension, interdimensional or astral travel. That sounds mighty interesting. So you know, it might have not just been tombs, or maybe they use it for tombs because they also use it for that, because yeah. they could like meditate in higher capacities there. Because I mean, mm -hmm. it's got to be some kind of other vibration or frequency because somehow they had light in there. Do I don't you, know. They had some do light. you remember what I told you? Pyramid meant. Yeah, uh, Hi Pyra yeah. is fire. fire. In the mid, mid is in the middle. middle. Yeah. So there you, you go. You, we're we're beings of light, right? There you kind go. of there stardust. You go. There you go. There you so go. we go in the middle, and then we probably have some kind of crazy visuals or something. There you to go. Speak to other, that's speak that's, to the other dimension that's, that's or the space. That's probably the, no, no at the, the middle. middle. Yeah. That, the the way that the harmonics are, everything will like basically co coalesce, so to speak, in the middle of the pyramid. The way the sound works, how how pyramid is the energy, the way it's gonna it's gonna. But inside. Yeah. Yeah. yeah in the yeah. middle, like in the, the whole point is to create a torus of energy, you know, to go up in there so it's not lost. That's you see. Not, that's actually pretty cool. That's why that's why even the Indians had teepees, you know, pyramid shaped stick, you know, that so that the energy okay. could go the right ways. The good energy can come in and go out the right ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, what's your so, theory on it? The theory on it is well. Just like how you said that it could be a way for them to talk to the inner dimensions. Well, what if this is a way for every one of them to do it? To talk as a way to like have meetings with the higher beings or have an entrance way for these beings to be able to come in and out. We all know wherever you find these pyramids, it was advanced cities, advanced technologies, advanced civilizations. You know, you got the Egyptians, you have the Mayans, Sumerians. the Aztecs, Sumerians, you have the ancient Chinese. You There's know, someone you've like also got the ancient Bruce. Right. With the uh, with the Russian pyramids that are being found now, so and you, if you make it seem like you know how Babylon in the Bible was a very just advanced city and it was it was highly just and it, it was, it's about New York, no, I'm talking, whatever. No. Regardless of how you see it, it's you have advanced civilizations everywhere. Why isn't it so out of the? Is it so out of the realm that they could be able to communicate with these beings just the same way that he said that they use the these pyramids for that? 
or that they like when they're on Earth to communicate with each other. That too. Like what if they get if you get hey, stranded? Remember Lord of the Rings when they were lighting the beacons to send signals? What if these were? What if? Well, you they know? said that yeah. the, the the Egyptian one used to have like a some kind of like eye of ancient Wi Fi. Right. It was like a, some kind of metal. Who knows? It could have been like some kind of amplifier yeah. or a to light, connect some kind like of a, beacon. And, and like they like put the radio. pyramids everywhere, right. and, and, and you know the pyramids wow. everywhere all over the earth, so that they can all keep in communication with each other somehow. Yeah. You know what from I'm Mexico saying? Okay. From to from what you said. The world, like a grid. And then if if you if you can lock into the was it the source was it field was it, was it, was, it, was it called? Uh, source unity consciousness field yeah this the, the source unity consciousness field might be what the whole thing creates around the earth you know all the different you know what I'm saying? if you connect well, to it that, sounds like the source unity consciousness field that's, so that's, so so if they're hooked up to each other and you hook up to one you're plugged into the source consciousness right, network right, the look at that there you right. go it's like a, there you go and i bet it has some kind of i mean I, I don't know like i bet you think there's pyramids in the it's kind of far-fetched because I was just watching a podcast yeah. that, that was showing that the, the division sign supposedly it has like because there's a sun up here and then there's like a black sun underneath the owner there's pyramids down there. the division sign yeah you mean wait what's the div- I'm sorry it's a, it's a line then a circle, uh, and a circle. oh yeah. that okay yeah you're right you're right you're right is that well, the only are, division sign they are fine oh there's a slash well, no, one too you can do the slash, slash. 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 you can do the there. fraction oh yeah you can do the fraction I'm not yeah. stupid no I'm just saying like I'm not stupid when, like, if that one's just you know symbols mean things sometimes for sure, just, for sure. Yeah. I mean they are finding underwater pyramids as well even all along the coast of uh, Africa, northern Africa uh, and they found some off the Japan uh, in between Japan and that mainland of China I think it was Manchuria and they don't always look the same. They're not all like they. They don't always look like the ones in uh, Mexico or Egypt. There's also uh, sometimes they're like uh, beautiful, like architecture, but it's just in the shape of a pyramid. There's also uh, quote unquote pyramids that are on uh, the moon, and Ooh. also in Antarctica. Yeah, Antarctica. Mm-hmm. I heard in Alaska some of the mountains were. I think it was Alaska. It might have been Antarctica. Some of the mountains were pyramids. pyramids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's crazy if there's something in Antarctica then. The crazy thing that's even weirder is that you have these pyramid shaped like mountains and whatnot, and yet nobody wants to investigate them. Like, oh, I'm China, sure they have. They have. They're uh, pyramids. I'm sure somebody did. They tried. Well, is Antarctica like neutral territory? It's yeah. bought up by a lot like, of different nations. There's, they right, they all like, own their own piece. Like so, I think if you wanted to like, I bet that's a lie, Look at them. You would have to get like their permission, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Of, like so many countries would have to be like, okay, sure. Well, you got to get special permission to go down there because it's a dangerous trek to get down there. Yeah. Just because of the uh, iceberg and with the yeah. Well, see the and that thing, the fact that we think it's cold everywhere is a myth. That's just what we're told. It's not. That's why they're starting to find out that whole civilizations used to live there. If you go around certain places, you'll find pockets and little caves that lead deep under there where it's, you can just be there, no, no jacket, no nothing. It's the water. In Antarctica? Yeah, in Antarctica, hidden in between those little things. And some people think okay, that they were, okay. it was built that way, not on accident, that this, that there... Well, there they, were people there. Yeah, that you, have to, that you have to work to find these, these uh, very fertile areas, you know, that aren't freezing cold like most people would think Antarctica is. You know, and some people say that those, some of those yeah, areas... I mean, like- me, when I think about Antarctica, all I think about is snow, ice. Yeah, see, and that's nobody what they, there. That's they want you to think. They want, that's, that's, that's how they want you. Remember, you see, okay, you probably never saw it because it's a shitty movie. It was in that Shyamalan movie called The Village. No, I never what is this? What is this? White runs, baby. All right, I'm gonna take a small break. The episode. Uh, what, what, what's the next question on the list? So, uh, continuing on to the uh, to the way the possibilities of what pyramids can do. Uh, apparently, a new research project called Scan Pyramids has registered incredible thermal anomalies present in the Great Pyramid, the Pyramid of Giza. Is that science trying to explain like the energy, I guess, that you can connect to? Uh, using a mixture of innovative and new technologies such as infrared, thermo, thermo, infrared radiography and 3D reconstruction, da, 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 da. the use of infrared technology... I don't know, this is all boring and shit. But they can't figure out why it's like... It's not boring, it's history. Nah, but this particular paragraph. <coughs> the person who wrote it? Yeah. Chris? Well, I copied and pasted <laughs> it. I Plagiar- copied and pasted Plagiar- Yeah, shout out to Google. Uh, but yeah, they're everywhere, bro. Yeah. 
Uh, there's like Mayan ones. So look, so he, them. so look here. I, I'll throw one out here real quick. Right. You know how you, you know? Show me the alignment there. So in Egypt, they're lined up to. It says here the the constellation of Orion's belt, right? Right. All right. So you know, we a lot of people will talk about oh, like there, there's there's the theory that the aliens were good and came to help us and then built it to, for whatever reason help us, right? Yeah. There's also the opposite theory that there were bad aliens. I'm good. Got a knocking. That came, yeah, call them whatever you want, rip Hylians, call whatever you want. Okay. That came, and uh, that's they where they came in, from. Like, for gold that that's it. where they came from, and uh, that that's why they built it that way, so that they, it's almost like marking their territory. territory. There you go. This is our fucking land. You know. So what if I'm anybody saying? else from yeah. another dimension okay. or because, galaxy because, gets in, because I'm, I'm about to lay something else. I'm about to get biblical, literally. So in the Bible, remember it said <laughs> Moses was a guy. Okay, <laughs> the story of Moses is that the guy came out of almost nowhere, went to Egypt, and freed the slaves. Now. Let's 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 detail this a little more. Moses was actually and he was born royalty in Egypt. But when the overthrow came of who knows what, the Hicksaws might have been the reptilians or the black hand that came, he was banished from the they're trying to kill him, but he ran from the kingdom. He pulled a he pulled a Simba. He hit that, you know, he ran away. Then he went and went on some crazy probably Jesus quest and he built up his power and came back with that staff, you know what I'm saying, and just freed the slaves. The slaves were actually the people, the, the, the not necessarily people from other land. The slaves were the people from that land. They had been enslaved by the people who came in and took over. See? So some people will say that Moses was a human that came back and took control from the reptilians. What you're reading in the Bible is a story of him <coughs> overthrowing the kingdom from the reptilians. So that's why I had the staff. That's just a theory. <laughs> that's just a theory, by the way, my no, guy. No, 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 because, like, so, I mean, if we go off that theory and we base that theory as facts, does that mean that that was technically a war between aliens and yes. God? Well, or well, well, aliens that would, are well, then, well, then that would mean that there are nice. more than one greater being out there, right? Well, oh my God. Well, why the, God? It's more of well, they're, well, they're well, overthrowing. Well, 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 why do you assume it would be God, though? Because, I mean... Moses? That's why? Yeah. Well, you don't call Jesus God, do you? No, exactly. but, so, but I'm saying... In, in a way, you're associating God with Moses, but uh, maybe because you, you know, because think of like know. in a way, you know, obviously they would come <coughs> and they they do right. If we're saying that it was aliens and they took over, basically took over, enslaved us, exactly. Yeah. Uh, what if there's basically kind of like an an agreement that um, you can't really influence any outcome or overuse your uh, power right between these two like beings or you know. You know, free between will. God, free exactly, will. Will. like people. we get yeah. to keep it right. So let's say God saw this. They broke their rule. Exactly. So God broke Set his. Moses. And exactly. Yeah, no, hey. So, I mean, I'm not saying that Moses is God, but I'm saying that yeah. God, in a way, influenced yeah. or gave power he, to Moses. He kind of had yeah. to yeah. kind of yeah. even, yeah. even, yeah. even it up. Yeah, because they, they didn't play fair. But you know what? At the same time. See, that, that makes it that, kind of. That, that's also an excuse sometimes for why they haven't intervened. You know, some people will say, well, all this bad stuff has happened on earth. And it's like, well, that's why God hasn't intervened because of the free will. Yeah. We, we're doing this to ourselves. You know what yeah. I'm saying? All this. But then that just kind of makes it even yeah, see, mm. it, it's crazy. Also, it's kinda, also, kinda, yeah, it's a theory. See, good, 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 good versus good. evil. You know, you got... Well, how I see some of these, like, when Moses overthrows these these fake gods, it's what they want to portray over people is that, no, we're the real God, and it's... Yeah, exactly. Finding out who God's true meaning is, God's true people are, that's why probably they follow Moses, the overthrowing of them. Yeah. yeah that's crazy. I really like that theory, though. What else you got? <clears throat> Um. Oh, I'll tell you something else. Do yeah. you, okay, these are to the listeners. You gotta describe these. What do you call these? These. Um, okay, so these these are the Easter Island heads, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What do you call these? Those are Olmec. The Olmec statues, the Olmec heads. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. A couple months ago, I was getting really fucking high at night, and I figured something out, right? Because a lot of people will say, "But why the fuck would they use these?" You know? Mm -hmm. Well, the same reason they use the pyramids. All right. They use the pyramid for all kinds of reasons, like you said. It, it, one of the things was to tell the day, the time of the year, all this other crap, yeah. right? And the way that they would do that was they would uh, they go by where the sun is positioned, right? So, you know, the sun will So we got, we got like a little statue right so, here. So the sun will Not rise a statue, a and it, it'll hit at different angles. The shadows will do different things, and that's how they tell things, right? You know, yeah. by the sun. Well, why not the same fucking thing? 
Well, like right. let's say it's the time of year that the sun hits this 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 area. Well, you know it's that time of the year. The well, I'm sure it aligns further. with some stars you know, too. You know, you could go day or night. Like a, you see what I'm saying? Like it's yeah. you know same thing with this guy. Like a clock. If it's only hitting, if if the shadow hits this time, it's that time. That you see how the shadow moves with, uh, the, with the sun, the angle, and yeah. everything. Well, that's okay. how it would work. It would be like that. Or so you're day, describing these more night, like a sundial. You know what I'm it's saying? A, they're giant yeah. sundials. Well, as well, one yeah. of the one of the functions because right. a pyramid is not just a fucking sundial. A pyramid right, right, is right. Yes. way more. Good. No, it's very true. You see what I'm saying? But right. they've also found like uh, what they describe as I guess these these uh, ceremonial grounds. But if you have, they have only four different openings, and in these four different openings, you got the rising and the setting of the sun, and it only aligns them perfectly with the winter and summer solstice. So it's kind of crazy. And you have these type of uh, mounds. So yeah. That probably would. Yeah, I read that they're like some of the most uh, perfectly aligned and built mm -hmm. things ever. Oh, I never answered the first question. I think they were built by alien technology. I think they were 4D built because I got those. 4D built? Yeah, by pyramid. By pyramid. By alien. Can you pass me the camera? Or like, you know, basically, I guess it'd be 5D, right? If the way they built that shit, you know, if I'm talking about. A pyramid popping I'm thinking out. like a 3D print, but like a giant 3D printer, yes, right? Yes, yes. That's what I'm picturing. Kind of. And a giant 3D printer, you know what I'm saying? Like they have that, that technology. Yeah, yeah. But you might as well call it 4D because you probably have to take all other, the ether too. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, you know. Through. It is pretty much because, in, yeah, the internet, the, the way it has to go in somewhere. Yeah, because we're printing in four dimensions, dimension. not just three. When you're printing yeah. here on Earth, I think, right? right. So my opinion, and I, because I see, I, I've got a few little pyramids that I ordered from this place that, that 3D prints them. And bro, it's like, these these are so precisely built and cut. The only way you could do this is with a 3D printer. So I'm like, why not the same thing for how they were actually built? Like he said, cuts that can't be duplicated. You know, stones that weigh hundreds of tons. No no, no machinery could build it, you know. In Japan, they attempted to recreate just just one of the pyramids. And they only got a third of the way through before they, before they realized, we, as, as, as a human population, we don't have the knowledge and the tools to do this. So how the fuck, you know what I'm saying? So my opinion, it, it it was it was alien technology that they used and they like 4D printer like come came across, you know what I'm saying? Like stack, 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 stack. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that's my opinion. That's how they were made, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Big old big old fucking print. I mean and it makes sense when, when you base it off each one of them kinda of goes with a, a constellation, right? A group of stars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you saying it kinda of like marks their territory, right? And what everywhere even, you know, in, in our civilization, you know, when a country goes and conquers a place, what do they like to do? They like to yeah, build a base. What if, well, yeah, exactly. What, put a flag on what there. If, significant, what if the like, pyramids, symbolism. What if pyramids around the galaxy are signs of where they're where they're taking they, over? Yeah, yeah where they rule. You so, know what I'm saying? Uh, there you go. There you I go. Mean, look at that. Look at that. Think there's crazy. I wonder if they've seen pyramids on any other planets or Mars. Like, Mars. Mars. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, plenty yeah. of Mars. Or moons, like the moons on Saturn or something. Jupiter has like 50 fucking Titan moons, bro. What are yeah. moons? How do you get moons, right? That's that's something you know. Well, science tells you. Yeah, science, science tells you it was, big, it was Big Bang. You know, the the right. Earth was getting made, and a and an uh, asteroid hit it, so the core went out, yeah. and it just magically yeah. Yeah. became this big old rock. You know, the moon basically, right. but it stayed in the yeah. orbit of the Earth because of its. Uh, Is that what they say? Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, like it came yes. from the beginning. Yes. The beginning, yes, because yeah. the Earth was multi and science lava just, yeah. and everything. Science just thinks everything is explosions and blah 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 because they don't believe there can be order in the universe. They well, don't something mainstream because science. they don't believe in God. Because there are scientists that are not mainstream that believe in the Creator because they're like yes. it's so random. It can't, it's impossible for that well, yeah. mathematically. Yeah, like, for somebody somebody had to create it. Time, there's time, right? We have the idea of time, but we don't know. The way the the galaxy and the universe is made up, we don't know if we're going forward or backwards. Yeah, that's a good point too. Mm -hmm. I mean, time is because not... space and the universe is ever well. The way they say is ever expanding, yeah. so we're always expanding. So there's always being more. So I mean, it just kind of gets you thinking, like, well, what's really like? Is it even true? Like, well, what's really going on? Exactly. See? Now, those are things you need to ask instead of just believing everything they fucking tell you, mm -hmm. yeah. and then being like, this makes no fucking sense. I don't believe it anyway. Because like I said, I mean, for the longest pyramids, right? You, I mean, even in the movies and TVs, what, what do you see? When they're getting built, you see people, a lot of people at the top. There's sticks on the side of the pyramid itself. Just a bunch of, like, big sticks everywhere. Rope. And, like, and just kind of uh, everybody like just, Egypt, just, everybody just pulling it up yeah. the slope. You see that part, right? But how do they get 
up there where they're pulling it, you know? Like, sure, maybe they... Well, they and then how did they it. cut these fucking perfect and then, giant stones? Exactly, and how'd they get it placed if they're pulling it all the way up? So, I, I don't know, right. just too many inconsistencies. So, you got, then you got... Uh, Slide like, in, yeah, exactly. shit is like, bananas, really. Let's not forget, you know, the inner workings of the pyramids as well. Right. You know, that's that's the one thing a lot of people don't understand is how the inner part of it. Just, having the outside build, but the inner works of it to go inside of it. Is and it's design. so durable to, to survive everything. To span yeah. over the years. Yeah, some people say that on Mars there's a giant five-sided pyramid and that's what they their civilization used to protect themselves from when, the, when everything went wrong. That was the only thing that they... That, that you can build to protect you from all the weather in space. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, and then like so in 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 Rome, there's one in Italy that they made for like because there was a period of time where they were like intrigued with Egyptian uh, uh, culture. So they they start, they have like pyramids all over like Rome and shit. There's pyramids everywhere now that are like symbols of stuff too. That are just like I don't know what those are for, you know. But yeah, uh, now these I just have like different ones. Like there's one called El Castillo. It's a Mayan temple. Um, let's see. Each face. It's a lot of like with numbers. Each face of the pyramid has a stairway with 91 steps, which together with the shared step at the top add up to 365. Which is the number of the days of the year. Um, then there's the ziggurat. In the ancient city of Ur. is one of the most well preserved monuments of the Sumerians. Yeah I was going to say the Sumerians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Built for the Sumerian king Ur Namu. In the mid 21st century BC. Ur Namu sounds very reptilian like. Damn. For real. Yeah. I mean when uh, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go just on a limb, whatever. But on those pictures, they're always bigger than most people. Like they're always yeah. giants compared to other people. Right. You know what I'm saying? That could be lit. That could be. That could be. Just because whatever. That's how they used to draw back in the day. Or that could be because they were literally bigger. Or just because that's how they drew that were of higher status. Yeah. Right. Everyone else is small. Well, you know that they mean? had like magical powers and technology and yeah. wisdom that we didn't have, so they're yeah. like, oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, there's that one. Then there's the Pyramid of the Sun, which is one of the largest pyramids in Mesoamerica. It measures 225 meters by 222 meters at its base, and it's 75 meter, uh, meters high. It was constructed in two phases. The first construction stage, around 100 AD, brought the pyramid to nearly its size that it is today. The second round of construction resulted in its completed size. Um, yeah, they used to like, sometimes they would take like hundreds of years to finish. Because then even like the pyramids and, and what's it called? It? The uh, the Sphinx, right? Those are from two, two different times. Yeah, a lot of people really don't want to accept that the pyramid and Sphinx might not be from the same time period. And one might be really old. We're talking about old with the B, maybe. You know, right. like billion years old there. Right. Which well, one? You know, the Sphinx, right? The Great Pyramid. The Great Pyramid. Oh, okay, okay. But that Sphinx has clearly been fucked with over time. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you look at that thing, I'm like, oh, hell no. You know well, what I'm according saying? According to Nas, they shot the nose off. Like, if I asked for a Sphinx. Have, like a black nose. Yeah, so when I, if I asked for a Sphinx, someone sent me that. I said, bro, how many times you fuck up on this before you, before you decided to just send me this design? You know what I'm saying? Like, it looks fucked up. They're like high on some real good mushrooms or something, trying to be like, right, probably, it's they, like a person. They're probably in that fire pyramid. You know, fire pyramid. Right, right. Yeah, and then there's a uh, uh, there's one in Guatemala. Shut up. There's one in uh yeah I don't know. What else? That's it. That's all you got. The Pyramid of Cestius is a Roman pyramid built as a tomb. That's the one I was talking about. For Ca for Caius. So they said the Romans built that one. Yeah, between 18 and 12 BC, constructed of white marble and brick. Light, likely built in this style due to the popularity of all things Egyptian, which swept Rome after Egypt was incorporated into the empire. Inside the tomb contained a number of frescoes depicting scenes from Roman mythology, with while an inscri inscription still visible on the exterior gives details about its construction and dedication. Um, the pyramid tomb was later set into the Aurelian walls, helping to ensure its preservation through the ages. Damn, that was like just... <laughs> 
crazy. Though. I don't know, bro. I don't know. That's all I got. The pyramid. How many? How many minutes we have? I figured you, Roma, would have more since this was a high historian. Oh nah, man, y'all gave a lot of talking today. I was, I was actually amazed with, with what y'all were talking about. We, we got uh, twenty nine. Can you wrap it up for us? This <laughs> or can you tell us like what your theories oh. on pyramids? My theory on pyramids, I, I, I think, I think, I think he just spent like twenty minutes talking about his theory on pyramids. Did he? Yeah. Like what? we all just did. Yeah. We just I, them all together. That's a bad conclusion. Like, uh, Andy. Look, if you want me to, to I mean, there's no conclusion for pyramids. I mean, there's no definite, there's no definitive, know. there's no definitive answer. Know. You can have your own theory, but nobody can really answer it for right now. Oh. Right, right. And it might be a question that nobody really answers. The definitively truth to the is public. out there. That's something that you have to draw up on your own, Chris. That's a, that's something I can't teach you. <laughs> you I'm, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking well, about I'm talking about everybody. Not bad. I'm just looking at you. Yeah. Well. I, mean, not I, bad. I know not my bad. theories. Well, we're only guides, you know. We're not gonna do. Right. All, we're not gonna do all the heavy lifting for y'all. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Hit that Google button. Hit that play. Hit that. YouTube but if you, button. I guess, to answer, yeah. to answer your question, yeah. Chris, it draws yeah. into more theories and why I, uh, with uh, what I'm starting to see with the black hand is that yeah, I do believe there was a. Uh, I guess quote unquote alien invasion in the Caucasus Mountains where somebody crash landed onto our planet. I don't know when, but ever since that happened, take ancient uh, history started taking a course towards more towards war, more towards trying to conquer and destroy things and build more other things and, and suppress the knowledge where I think back in the day, the knowledge was more free, free to the people. And, you, and it's, you can see that with the structures that were created and the interconnections that you see around the world. You know, something is hiding the truth. It's just, I guess, up to guys like us to kind of open people's minds. Yeah, there you have it. I'd pass 66. 66! Six, six. White six, Rugs. Six. Pyramid. Peace. Is that the finish you want it?